The Navy made history Tuesday for the first time ever. An unmanned drone took off from an aircraft carrier. It could revolutionize warfare. David Martin was on the USS George H.W. Bush for the maiden flight. Responding to commands from a joystick, the X-47B moved into launch position. VIPs from industry and the Navy lined the rails. Hooked into the catapult, the X-47B was about to attempt what had never been done before. The launch went off without a hitch, and the U.S. Navy entered a new era. Rear Admiral Ted Branch commands carrier aircraft in the Atlantic. It's a, a, a marker for a line between naval aviation as we've known it and the future of naval aviation with the launch of the X-47B. As the carrier George H.W. Bush steamed into the wind off the coast of Virginia, the X-47B, now flying itself in response to computer commands, made two passes over the ship before returning to its base in Maryland. It will attempt its first carrier landing sometime this summer, but the Navy is already planning to put a small number of the stealth-like aircraft on each of its carriers, starting as early as 2018. That would allow carriers to conduct air operations 24-7 while pilots of manned aircraft sleep. We could leave them airborne for a long period of time while the rest of the air wing is uh, uh, not flying overnight, for example. At first, the X-47B will be loaded with cameras to provide round-the-clock surveillance, but it can also hold 4,500 pounds of weapons. Putting an armed drone aboard an aircraft carrier would allow the Navy to attack heavily defended targets without risking pilots' lives and operate anywhere in the world without the need to build secret bases. The only one who did not appreciate the significance of this launch was the X-47B itself. It's just a machine doing what it's told and had no idea it was flying off an aircraft carrier. For CBS This Morning, this is David Martin aboard the George H.W. Bush.